major court fight now looming over the future of non-compete agreements affecting tens of millions of Americans. This after the Federal Trade Commission in a three to two vote banned such agreements which prevent workers from moving to a competitor if they leave a job or start a competing business. The new ban would also void any existing non-compete agreements. The FTC chair saying this quote non-compete clauses keep wages low suppress new ideas and rob the American economy of dynamism, including from the more than 8,500 new startups that would be created a year once non-competes are banned. But now business groups are vowing to sue. To dive deeper, we welcome Executive Vice President of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, Neil Bradley. Uh, Neil, wonderful to have you this morning. Let's dive right in here. So much to cover. Why does the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the largest pro-business lobbying group in the country, believe this ban specifically crosses a line? Well, because in the United States of America, we elect people to make our laws. And at the federal level, that's Congress. And Congress has never said uh, that non-competes are illegal. They've never told the FTC uh, to make rulemakings to say that non-competes need to be regulated. What happened yesterday was that three members of the Federal Trade Commission reached back to a 110-year-old statute and said, voila, even though nobody for over a century has thought that non-competes are illegal, we're going to decide that they are, ban them, and ban them retroactively. If Congress wants to take that up, that's a business for them. But we can't live in a society in which three people simply get to decide that longstanding business practices are suddenly illegal because they don't like them. So let's get to some of their arguments here. Supporters of this move argue that many lower wage workers, including dancers, hairstylists, fast food workers, they can have their careers hampered by non-compete agreements. In a majority of cases, do you believe there is merit to that argument that they give employers too much power? In a majority of cases, they don't. In a majority of cases, we're talking about uh, senior executives uh, in businesses, uh, people who have trade secrets, kind of the, the secret sauce that uh, how the company operates, that, that a, a business rightfully doesn't want to see walk across the street to their competitor. With respect to lower wage workers, which there are very few instances of non-competes, we should have policies that prohibit them if they're uncompetitive in nature. And in fact, a number of states have adopted policies to do just that. Congress, if it wants to make a policy, we think that would be a pretty good exercise in, in lawmaking. But what the FTC did, they don't have the authority to do. And by the way, they threw the baby out with the bathwater. They banned non-competes going forward across the board for everyone. This is a policy that's so radical that when it was passed by the New York legislature last year, it was actually vetoed by the Democratic governor there in New York. Yeah, and it will have major implications. Uh, I wish we had more time, but I certainly appreciate your insight. Neil Bradley, thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.